Hello guys, it's Verzikten here. Today I have very interesting clips. Please enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. I got power berries. They taste really good and sweet. Mom says I can't have too many, but I don't listen and not eat them all. Yeah, just as good as the last one. Delicious. <laughs> They're really good. I love power bears. I was at my house yesterday. Yes, we were at the house and Brooke was over and my Spotify was showing on like the main TV. It was like Hamilton and then like April Foos. And Brooke looks at it and she's like, this looks exactly like mine. And I was like, Brooke, you're actually like the number one Lesler. She's like, no, like I actually like just repeat all of April's music. On, it's my intro song. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, she's, she plays it every day. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Um, Meg, same for the six months. Germs on worms, same for the four months. Brianna, thank you for the six months. She's a foozler, your honor, as it should be. <laughs> no, it's just so sweet, yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck cancer. Dude, that's so sad. Technoblade? I that I didn't know Technoblade. I, I Yesterday, I was like... I mean, I didn't know his content very well, but everyone knows Technoblade. Like, I even knew Technoblade from someone who doesn't really... I didn't follow too much Minecraft stuff. That was really, really sad. I know he impacted so many people. People loved his content. Yeah. Me and Myung were watching the video of his dad. And that video, like, I was having, like, when I was watching it, I'm like, that is crazy. Like, knowing you're gonna die, you know, and, like, writing a letter. Like, I can't process. I couldn't really understand, like, that's crazy to, like, write that as you know you're gonna die. Like, that's so sad. Yeah, Technoblade died. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no one should have to. I know, I know his dad. He that he's the reason I got into watching M Minecraft and then developed into watching other gamers. Yeah, he was like a massive content creator, like massive. He made an, an incredible impact while he was on this earth. So, I didn't know he died. Yeah, that was like all over everywhere. Um, the perilous thing of the nine months, Nerissen thing of the three months, yeah. Rest in peace, Technoblade. He, he was such a light and inspiration, I've been crying a lot. Yeah, it's really sad. It, it's always, like, really, uh, hard to, like, when you hear, like, someone so young, like, 23, and cancer feels, like, so, like, what do you even do? And, like, it can just... It feels so unfair, like with cancer. I mean, every all of it, everything, but like cancer especially is like one of those things that like can just doesn't matter how young or old, it's just boom, like just coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, he's twenty three, so young. Um, Carlos little thing with the ten months, welcome back. Yeah, I it's when yeah, death is it's uh that's crazy. Yeah. It is hard to understand. It is. Everyone processes it differently. And I feel like it's okay to be like, I know some people are like, is it okay if I feel really sad I didn't even know him? Or, yeah. It's like, some people, like, you, if you watch his content a lot, if you made a big impact, maybe he was the reason you started watching, like, other content creators and got you into, like, a certain. I feel, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hello, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. I was listening to your new cover today. Well, I'm glad that that's out. I can't even watch it myself because I hate like listening to myself. It's weird. Uh, it's hard to like listen to my own like voice and whatnot. But you know what's really cute is as I was like hanging out in the living room, all my roommates went to AX today. Um, I come down and then like an hour after it's uploaded, Saikuno comes down the stairs and he goes, Leslie, I love your cover of Ghost. It's really good. And I was like, well, you listened to his? Like, yeah, of course. I'm subscribed. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. Because I, when it's like music stuff, I don't ever really promote it because I'm always, I don't know, I'm self-conscious about that stuff. It was very cute. He's like, no, guys, it's really good. And he was telling everyone to listen to it. It's on our YouTube channel. 
She sounds really good. You're gonna be really impressed. I know he's so supportive, man. What the heck? So, anyways, there's a video. It's a whole cover we recorded in Utah. Um, so if anyone wants to watch it, you can go listen to it. Um, um, Brenda Shea was 16 months. Um, also, you might have heard that I think I when I rated Lily, she said mentioned that I'm performing at her concert. So I will be performing at her concert in August. So I don't know if it's going to be streamed or anything, but I will be singing at it. I haven't decided what yet. If I'm doing a cover, if I'm doing an April song, if I'm doing like maybe like what if live i don't know i think i'll just do a song one song yeah maybe if i if you're like an acoustic if you're broke i'm busy i don't even know so um it's yeah so yeah maybe toxic oh toxic wouldn't be a bad cover to sing yeah she said she wants the april song i mean i could it's just i don't know how i would do the verse maybe we'd skip out on the verse i can't imagine me going i can't imagine me singing the verses I mean, I could. Hey, it's foos on the track. Think it's best you respect all the ooze I attract. Check the crest. Marty called me mommy. I cannot sing that live. I will cringe. I will cringe so hard singing that. I don't think I can do it. Keep the crew on my back Chain the set that ah, I can't do it, I can't do it That's, That's all the love that you'll get Whip the pink LFA just to let him know I cannot sing this live I can do the chorus slowed down Maybe Something like that I will die of cringe on stage, yeah Would you want that? No, I don't think so I think I will just sing a cover of a song Um, Yeah, I'm probably just gonna do that And maybe what if Because it's a slower song and it works out Um yeah, what if and toxic or and or toxic probably. I don't know. We'll do that. Um, better when I'm high will not be out by then. I don't think. I think better when I hi I'm high comes out in August. Um, yeah. Streaming advice. <sighs> I don't even think I'm fit to give streaming advice. I don't know. I think the biggest thing with streaming is just to you got to learn how to like, have a good bounce off your chat. Find the find your rhythm. You know, everyone the Twitch is. It's like an open <laughs> streaming is just like it's what you make of it, you know, and every all the streams out there are so different. Some people are like super, super interactive with their chat. Some people don't look at their chat at all. Some people are like it's, it's very hard to like it depends on what you want to do with it. It's so open. You just press line, you know, so maybe on April medley. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can throw in a little bit of if you're broke and busy. Don't start streaming to become famous. Uh, yeah, that's 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 the number one thing. But I think that a lot of people kind of end up doing that. And then they give up within the first like two weeks when they realize that they have like only one viewer and they get by some extravagant stream setup realizing that that's not really. Yeah. Don't sit, don't go live with the expectation like money, donations, fame. Let's go, you know. Even I was, while I was making money, like a little bit when I was first coming in, I was full blown denial. Like I was like, I will not become a full time streamer. <laughs> I don't know. I was just in denial. I did not want to do it because in my mind, I had worked so hard and I'd gotten this degree in biology. And I just, I was like, why would I become a streamer when I have, I've got worked really hard to get my degree and I'm not going to throw that all away to become a streamer. I, I don't know. I just did not like the idea. I was like, uh-uh. So I remember one of my mods at the time asked me, like, would you ever go full-time? And I was like, no. Absolutely not. No. I will use my degree. I did not suffer for four years through science, math, and physics classes to not use this. Here we are. Oh. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is the only reason I ended up going full-time streaming is because I couldn't find a job anywhere else. I got turned on by every email or every esports org I, I applied for. No, I, nothing. No, nothing. So I was like, oh, I'm not getting accepted as like, I just wanted to work anything. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes life has its way of working out. It does. I applied for all, like a lot of the esports orgs. I specifically, I remember CLG and TSM, uh, Cloud9. 
I I wish I applied. I probably have the email somewhere where I was like, hi, I will work literally at anything. I'll do anything. I just I'll be an intern. I just want to I want to be around at the esports. I want to be around. Yeah, I'll be the janitor of TSM, please. Yeah, no, no, seriously. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, look at you now. It didn't all happen at once though, you know? It really didn't. Will you play GTA today? Um, when's OTV party? Does anyone know? I don't know if this was like a public thing. I guess no one knows. Okay, well, I'm going to the OTV party. I think it's at eight, okay. But where is the OTV party is the next question. And you guys don't know that part. Um, so if that's far, then I need to get ready for it. My guess, let me check my invitation, okay. Um, how many viewers did you have uh, until you were comfy being a full-time streamer? Um, I think I had about 100, 150, 120 concurrent viewers. Was it? Be careful of COVID. I know. I'm actually terrified. I don't like. I'm going to Europe. I really don't want to get COVID right before Europe. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I can't. <gasps> don't worry. They're doing COVID testing at the door. I t I've been taking four COVID tests a week. We're chilling. That's actually one nice thing about Hundred Thieves. Every time I go to take a shoot, it's mandatory COVID testing before we walk in. And so I'm just like, oh, shit, kind of nice. Just constantly knowing, like, sometimes in the back of your head, you're like, and you're sniffling, and you're like, you know, I was like, I have a perma sniffle, right? And Ray's like, are you sick? And I'm like, I don't think so. But then I go to a shoot, and I'm like, oh, negative. So, yeah. I got COVID in Europe. Yeah, well, I'm just going to move to Europe then. I'm going to be there, and I'm going to quarantine myself in Amsterdam. So, I'll be doing shrooms, guys. Thank you. See you at the cafes. That I said that out loud. <laughs> uh, in game, guys, in game, of course. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Gosh, what's wrong with you guys? Jeez. 